This will be the first meeting for President John F. Kennedy and Mrs. Kennedy with the man who played a leading role in the creation of African unity. Gentlemen, I know I speak in behalf of all of my fellow Americans in welcoming His Imperial Majesty back to the United States. Since His Majesty visited the United States nearly a decade ago, we have seen uh, one of the most extraordinary revolutions in history, and that has been the appearance on the world scene of 29 independent countries in the short space of less than 10 years including over 150 million people. The conference recently held in His Majesty's capital served, I think, uh, to bring together in a great uh, cooperative movement the people of most of these countries. And the success of that conference was due in no small part to the leadership of our distinguished guests, his efforts to move his country forward and provide a better life for its people, and his efforts uh, throughout the world which stretch back uh, over 30 or 40 years. For all of this, uh, Your Majesty, we take the greatest pride in welcoming you here. You do us honor, and I can assure you that there is no guest that we will receive in this country that will give uh, a greater sense of livelier pride and satisfaction to the American people than your presence here today. Ethiopia has long been an exception amongst African states an indigenous power that apart from a brief period of Italian occupation remained free from the privatizations of European colonial rule. Despite this, the transformation of the decentralized and multi-ethnic pre-modern Ethiopian kingdom into a consolidated modern nation-state has been a painful process. The most recent example of this has been in the Tigray region, home to members of the Tigrayna ethnic group. Since late 2020, an ever-escalating cycle of violence involving not only the Ethiopian central government but various ethnic militias as well as neighboring states has triggered waves of refugees and led to accusations of genocide and ethnic cleansing. What are the historical origins of the conflict in Tigray? What explains this latest outbreak of violence? And what does it mean for the future of Ethiopia? We'll ask these questions and more. This is Revolution. Security was on high alert in the Ethiopian town of Ambo on Thursday as popular protest singer Hachala Hundesa's funeral was held. His murder on Monday night sparked protests in Addis Ababa and the surrounding Oromia region in which more than 80 people have died. The killing has tapped into grievances fueled by decades of government repression and what the Oromo, Ethiopia's biggest ethnic group, describe as their historic exclusion from political power. Addis resident Ishetu Alamu says he's heartbroken by Hachalu's death. Hachalu is not an ordinary individual. He's pure Ethiopian and pure Oromo. I am angry. It's eating me up inside. Hachalu provided a soundtrack to a generation of young protesters. Their three years of bloody street demonstrations resulted in the unprecedented resignation of the Prime Minister in 2018 and the appointment of reformist Abiy Ahmed. 